Hey everybody, welcome back to For Horse Sake, and I'm going to do a few of these uh, type of videos, a little bit of a series of my top fives. Uh, you know, it could span into more of like maybe top five movies, top five this, but we're going to do top five uh, different autograph collections. This one is going to be the very first one that comes out, and we're going to do Funko Pops, so it's my top five favorite uh, autograph Funko Pops that I currently own, because that may change here in the next month two months because you know I am meeting uh, Kiefer Sutherland you know next month so you never know but this, like I said this one's going to be my top 5 autograph Funko Pops I'm going to do like a top 5 uh, autograph 8x10s and then the 11 by top 5 11 by 17 slash 11 by 14s and then maybe top 5 miscellaneous that's where like posters figures uh, props stuff like that will fall in but this one's going to be Pops so let's get to it uh, I know Uncle Ed is really going to love this one because he loves some Funko Pops. I thought I would start off with, I've mentioned it before in a live and stuff like that, my very first autograph Funko Pop is this one right here. And it was, I acquired it at the very first Mad Monster I've ever, I ever went to. So, my very first one is a Ash vs. Evil Dead Ash, and it is autographed by... I don't know how well you can see that because of the glare. If I had to take it out of the protector, Bruce Campbell. And it just says, hey, Chuck. He didn't do groovy or nothing like that. I wish he would have done groovy. But it just says, hey, Chuck. Uh, it was a very fast interaction with him. He uh, he basically said, you know, it's a good name because I had to write down my name and he read it. He's like, my dad's name was Chuck. And I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, you know, it must be a good name if your dad. He's like, yeah, it is. He signed that. Like I said, this is one of my favorite and one of my first for horror convention and for signed Funkos. So, and following with the theme of firsts, uh, we are actually back to back with two of my favorite characters. You know, Evil Dead, and then to this one, we have a uh, Sam for Trick or Treat. Now, funny story about this. Now, this is another first. It says to Chuck, Happy Halloween, Quinn Lord, and it has Sam underneath it. Uh, this is a Spirit Halloween exclusive, him holding the candy bar. Um, so, this was my very first consignment. Uh, the story behind it, if you want to go and dig through all the uh, categories from like the very first couple of videos. So, I think they are the, gra the Grail Box, is what they were called. Um, they were doing a consignment. Uh, and I really wanted the limited edition poster that they had. The limited edition poster looks like the limited edition Shout Factory release of Trick or Treat. It was a nice big poster. You know, I paid that money. I was like, alright, hey, this is what I want. Uh, I did select Happy Halloween and stuff like that. So, whenever it arrived, it took a long time to get here. Like, longer than most consignments. It took a while to get here, but I got it. It was a very small box. And I was thinking in my head, I'm like, please God, do not let them have folded it up. Please let them have rolled it. If they folded it up, oh, that's going to be so bad. So I get home. I'm a little nervous. I do the video when I open the box. This little guy's inside. I did not order a Funko Pop. And I told them. I said, hey, uh, I did not order a Funko Pop with you guys. I ordered this poster. And they didn't say they were sold out. They didn't say anything. They said, well, you know, our bad. Uh, they did make it right as in sending me a 11 by 17 poster. But after that, I already got this, and I had already gotten the Zoby Fright Pack Quinn Lord poster, and it was the same exact poster, except for, I think, the one they sent me to say sorry for this mess up had an inscription on it. So that was cool. I think I kept that one. I think I may have uh, got rid of the other one. But uh, it was a happy accident, because honestly, I'm very happy to have this Funko and uh, to have a Quinn Lord Sam Funko. So, so like I said, you know... You, Things can start off bad, but end up pretty good. So I'm glad I got it. Next up was one I actually just got in February. Now, I had met this man before. He was uh, very awesome to meet, and he was very awesome to meet again. Uh, it's very hectic, long lines, long wait, and a bit of expensive. But, I, my Robert England, Chuck, let's get high, Freddie K, then Robert England. And I love how he did multiple colors. Like, he did the blue, like the heroin injection needles, and then Freddie K in red. 
very cool. It's just a very awesome piece. I'm very happy to have in my collection. I don't have to pay anyone else to get a hold of it. I acquired it myself. And I have it in these really great um, pop armor magnetic sealed tops. I love these things. Following with the theme of a Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, one that I also got, uh, I do believe I got it, I got it not too long ago, actually, was Heather Langenkamp. Now it says Chuck, 910, Never Sleep Again, Nancy, Heather Langenkamp. Now this custom is from Silver Moon Custom Pops. I was very lucky to get it because this was the last one he had, and um, I still have batteries in it. So this guy right here, it actually lights up. I did a video showing this off, and this is it signed. Which I did in my uh, haul video from Mad Monster. But very neat. Very, very cool. And the last Funko to make my top five. Which I love all these things. These are all signed behind me from top to bottom all through here. I love them. I love all of them. They have all a special place in my heart. But these mean a little bit more to me. Like my first consignment. My first Funko to get signed. My, uh, you know, Freddy uh, Krueger one. Stuff like that. This one right here means a lot to me because of who it came from. Now, uh, Josh from Josh's Hoarder Corner, you've heard me talk about it a lot. We do stuff together. We do, we, we're just friends. We're good friends. And I'm very honored and lucky to have him as a friend, to be honest. Um, and just the kindness of his heart... I try to do for him just as much as he does for me, and I might go overboard sometimes with making sure he has, you know, and getting him stuff, but uh, this right here meant a whole lot because he made it. It was something he did. Now, if you if you follow Josh, you've seen his channel, you've seen this already. Now, he made this, and like I said, it just, it, it means a lot, uh, and it is a Victor Pascal Funko Pop. Now, he made the pop, but I do believe Gabe Miller, is uh, he does from Gabe's Customs, he's the one that made the outside box for him. Uh, yeah, Gabe Miller Customs, right there on the bottom. He made the box for Josh. Josh made the actual Funko on the inside. If you can see his brains coming out and his little bike shorts. But, Victor Pascal pop, and it is signed by Brian Greenquest. Victor Pascal. It says, To Chuck, the ground is sour. Now I told Josh I was like I'll let you pick the uh, the quote because Josh is really good at it. he sit there he'll he'll run through quotes and movies and lines like that to find the perfect one to go on a pop and you know just a poster in general and like I said this means a lot to me because it's a custom made and of the three I have one Josh has one I have one and then he made one for Brian himself because Brian loved it he's like I can you make me one he made him one and sent it to him so of the three that has been made I have one. And uh, it's just a great job, Josh. Again, um, very happy to have it in the collection. And this this made the top five. It'll probably stay up there just because you know the the story behind it, who made it, all that. But that is my top five autograph Funkos for now. You never know. Here in about two years, I might do another top five Funkos, and these guys may not make the list. I know this one will at least. But. If you liked everything, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I really hope to see you guys next time.